Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So we have some uh, cooler temperatures today thanks to that cold downdraft air coming out of the thunderstorms and also because of the cloud cover that started off the day and kind of kept us from getting any kind of daytime heating. So we're at 69 degrees right now. Dew points have also dropped just a little bit. Some of that drier air falling out of the clouds has produced a dew point that's about five degrees cooler than when we started off the morning. So we are on our way to some drier, less humid air around here. 67 degree dew point right now. East southeast wind coming in at about 13. It's been kind of southwest now it's shifting around a little bit. Really the winds today are going to be somewhat variable depending on where the thunderstorms are and the, and the downdrafts are located and what kind of interactions are going on and such as that. We have a uh, 74 degree temperature in Sebring, 70 in Wachula, 71 in Arcadia, 71 in Mayaca, Sarasota at 69, 76 degrees at Lakewood Ranch, 77 in Bradenton, 74 Inglewood and in Venice. Well, we had some big thunderstorms move through the area today. I'll tell you what, earlier on in the morning, some really large, uh, strong storms with solid mesocyclone rotation in the center of the updrafts, producing lots of wind damage. Wind gusts uh, widespread in Pinellas County and Hillsborough County at 45 to 50 miles per hour and better. And some tree damage as well being reported. There were power outages in Hillsborough County. It was nasty storms. But then as it moved down south into Manatee County, we got mostly rainfall there. One storm after another after another in a very slowly sinking southward system brought you know, three, four inch rainfalls in parts of Manatee County. Then over Sarasota County, about an hour ago, we had a strong system move through with a deep mesocyclone as well. Not tornadic in nature, but still a rotating updraft core signaling very, very strong updraft winds. Hail has been a problem today. Three quarter inch hail being reported by Doppler radar. That can hurt if that gets you. Well, now the showers have kind of shifted a little bit further south. We still have some special marine warnings up. Obviously, terrible day for boating. But there are some big uh, downpours of rain occurring now anywhere from Venice back in through Northport into Arcadia, down to Punta Gorda, and out into Gulf waters. And we're going to see these move on shore. And then after they move on shore over the course of the next 45 minutes to an hour, things will lighten up a little bit. Not to say we wouldn't get another good round of rainfall, but I don't think we're going to get the persistent driving one after another showers that we have seen. And the reason for that is some drier air is starting to erode away the back side of this system. The front and stealth is still located to the north up around the Big Bend region, and that will be gliding through throughout the afternoon. But aloft, there's some drier air that's rotating in, and that's helping to suppress a little bit of the afternoon uh, shower activity that we could have otherwise seen. The frontal boundary itself sinks south, high pressure builds in, wind shift out of the northwest, and boy does tomorrow look great after that front passes by. We'll see continuation of fair weather for about five days in a row, and it looks like into the weekend, plenty of sunshine. Showers and thunderstorms today, again, some strong storms still possible over the course of the next hour or two, but the drier air moves in tonight, and the extended range forecast looks great. For boaters today, stay in port. What can I tell you? Southwest winds will be increasing. They'll be come to 20 knots tomorrow. And even tomorrow, with the sun that'll be shining, the winds will still be a little breezy out there. 90% chance of showers, followed by some drying conditions. Nighttime lows in the 60s, daytime highs in the upper 70s to near 80. And that carries us in to the weekend and Mother's Day, Scott.